In the holy Sikh city of Amritsar, in the north of India, there lies a park that played an integral role in the story of Indian independence from Great Britain. It's surprisingly really calm and serene in here. It's a nice escape from the chaos that's outside the walls, but also odd as to what took place here not that long ago. On April 13th, 1919, British Brigadier General Reginald Dyer opened fire and killed 379 unarmed peaceful protesters in this park. The bullet marks from the muskets still pockmark the walls. This action sent India into a literal riot. General Dyer was sent here by the British Army to kind of get everyone under control. And so what he did was he brought his men and opened fire on the peaceful protesters inside. With the only exit from the park being a narrow alleyway, the protesters had nowhere to run and were cut down by the British Army. In the chaos, some of the protesters who were being fired upon threw themselves into a nearby well. Today, this well is considered a sacred location. So to find cover from the shootings, people actually hid in the well over here, and it was said that afterwards they recovered over 120 bodies. The massacre here at this park was the final act that really galvanized the Indian people. After that point, Gandhi said that any cooperation with the satanic British government was an act of sedition. Located right next to the Golden Temple in Amritsar, today the park serves as a reminder to the sacrifice made for freedom. <laughs>